Hello guys, the topic for today is about PCPNDT Act, which is one of the most important topics in the Table Viva session of Radiology Practicals. Let us understand few questions that they ask and know about the answers. The first one is what is the full form of PCPNDT Act? You have to know the full form in total, the preconception, the prenatal diagnostic techniques, prohibition of sex selection act. And then what is the main purpose of this act? This act was enacted to stop the female feticide that has resulted in declining female sex ratio in India. A brief insight into the history of the act, it was initially started as only the PNDT Act, which was prenatal diagnostic techniques, by Government of India in 1994. Then later, on 1st January 1996, it came into effect. There were few amendments made into the act in 2003, and then the name of the actual PCPND Act has come. So initially started as PNDT and then ended up as PCPNDT in 2003. And now comes the most important part of the video, which is about forms in the PCP NDT. On the top right corner, you have a QR code to get access to the Telegram channel for more such videos. Now to understand the forms, let us divide them categorically into the color codes that have written. The first one is ABC, the second category is DEF and the third goes like G and H. The first category is all about applying for the PCP NDT. Either you get accepted and a certificate or you get rejected. So it goes in that order only. You apply for it, you get accepted or you get rejected. And the terms, uh, the forms DEF has a common term genetic in it. So all the terms is having genetic within it. How to remember which goes into what? So the first uh, letter that comes is C and then only comes the letter L, right? Alphabetically. So first comes the counseling center and then comes the laboratory. And in the form F, you have to combine these both C and L, then you get the term as clinic. So it is genetic clinic. When you get a term genetic clinic, you can remember ultrasound clinic also along with it. Ultrasound is an imaging modality, right? So remember imaging center also along with it. So the Form D has counseling center, E is about genetic lab and F is about clinic, be it genetic clinic, ultrasound clinic or imaging center. For form G and H, just remember it like J is for consent and H is for maintenance. I, I couldn't get any mnemonic for that. Now coming to the tabular format of the PCP entity forms. The form A is about application for the registration or renewal of the registration for all the centers that we have learned in DEF. Those are genetic counseling center, laboratory, clinic, ultrasound clinic or imaging center. Then comes the form B, that means you got accepted and you got a certificate. Form C is for the rejection. So the ABC category is done, right? Application, acceptance and rejection. Then comes the form D, which is for genetic counseling center. As we learned, C comes before L. So first put the counseling center. And then form E, L comes next to C. Like, so genetic laboratory and F is, you have to come and C and L clinics. Then form G is for the invasive techniques. Uh, we we just have to remember that the invasive techniques are all come under form G and form H is for the maintenance of the permanent records. So this is all about the PCP entity forms that you need to know. Now there are few terminologies that comes uh, when we discuss about the PCP entity like uh, appendix, annexures and uh, chapters. Uh, and there are uh, pro like few questions also asked about these uh, numbers of these chapters, annexures and appendix. And we need to know one number that uh, in which section of the appendix is all these forms involved. It is about section 2. So section 2 is, uh, section 2 of the appendix involves all the forms from A to H. Now let us see few questions that were asked in the table viva. So here's, uh, here are the few questions that I will show next. So these were the viva questions. Uh, and uh, it, they are like how many chapters are there in and how many annexures, how many appendices and all. So there are uh, also answers written on the side by. Now let us learn the mnemonics, how to remember those. So chapters, I have highlighted the letter T capital with capital letter, uh, just to uh, derive seven out of it. So the chapters, you can uh, derive seven out of T. So the number of chapters is seven. And in the annexures, you have two Ns representing nine, N for nine. And in the appendix, you have two Ps. Remember it like panch, P for panch, panch is five. So chapters, T is highlighted there to derive 7 out of it. And annexures, you have two Ns resembling 9. And in appendix, you have two Ps, that means punch, which is 5. So 7, 9 and 5. And in the, in the appendix, in which section these forms are involved? In section 2. And uh, similarly, that number 2, you can remember like how many times a doctor has to sign in the form F. That is also 2. So in the form F, you have to sign for uh, 2 times. Uh, that 2 number, you, have, you can remember like that also. And uh, do uh, which section of the appendix that is two, and there is a definition like what is an act uh, that you can read by yourself. And uh, then comes the sixth question: Do MRI CT machines need to be registered? Yeah, it is to be registered and notified to appropriate authority. And form F: How many times do you sign in the form F? That is two times.
so this concludes the viva questions as well as the pcp entity forms that we need to know here are few uh, theory points like uh, salient features of the act that we need to know uh, at least the brief idea of these features so the first one is absolute prohibition of the sex determination or selection so this act is all the purpose of the act is only for the provision of sex determination right so that is one salient feature and the second one is to it is to be conducted by qualified personals only and the third one is every center or institute conducting these tests must be registered under the act by applying it to AA. AA means appropriate authority. So form A is for application right and form B is for certification acceptance and form C is for rejection. So the same is uh, given in the yellow box below again. The application costs like 3000 to 4000 when you fill the form A and send it to AA that is appropriate authority and then uh, the second line is about approved applicants will receive form B because it is a form of certification and this form B certificate that you receive from AA you have to display it in your ultrasound center or the image clinic like wherever you are working and then uh, one month before the expiry of the certificate you have to send a renewal re request of the certificate uh, renewal request to AA again this renewal is also form A only as we saw in the initial table it was given like form A is for new registration as well as the renewal so you can look at here it is for application for new registration or renewal also so both of them comes under form A only whenever you go to AA for the application of something it comes under form A and th when you get rejected it is into form C then comes the fourth salient feature which is before conducting a test appropriate uh, form should be filled and uh, in case of the sonography you have form F and doctor has to sign two times in form F. So it has the details like patient details, indication of the test and patient's declaration that she doesn't want to know about the sex and doctor's declaration that he or she did not reveal the sex. Then uh, all the records uh, should be maintained and form F specifies 23 indications under which sonography or sonographically assisted invasive procedures can be done. A complete report of all such tests conducted in a month should be sent to appropriate authority by fifth day of the subsequent month. So here also few digits that you have to remember by fifth day of the next month you have to send all the records that you have collected. And fifth one any change in equipment or employee should be informed. And sixth is every center or institute must display a notice delineating the sex determination or selection is prohibited under law. And seventh is prohibition of sale of the equipments to uh, unauthorized people. So this is all about the PCP entity that we need to know. If you like this content, please scan and join the Telegram channel for more such videos. And please do like, share and subscribe to the YouTube channel and support me. Thank you.